Hey everybody, I'm Mark Dunham, chef for the Atherton Hotel and Ranchers Club. Join us over the next few minutes as we make OB spicy chicken pasta right here on Play With Your Food. Okay, everybody, we are back. I'm joined by famed basketball player at OSU, Obi Manila. Obi, thanks for joining me today. Thank you. Good to be here with you. Well, are you ready to cook some, uh, cook some pasta with some spicy chicken? Yes, I am. So, I know you come in the restaurant a lot, mm -hmm. and I'm always feeding you pasta and chicken sandwiches. What is it about the, the spicy chicken that you like the most? Well, so I've always ate spicy foods all my life growing up. My family, we eat spicy foods, and... What I like about the, the food in the afternoon and the spices, there's so many different assortments of peppers uh -huh. and things that can be used on the chicken to make it give it give you a different feel, a different taste of the spiciness. So I brought some of your faves okay. here. We've got crushed red pepper. We've got just our normal black pepper. We've okay. got that Syrian Aleppo uh, I love it. pepper. I love the Syrian Aleppo. It's tasty. Yes. And cayenne pepper. So to get started, let's go ahead and get some, uh, some of whatever seasonings you want on that chicken breast, a little okay. bit of salt and that stuff. Okay. We'll stick that guy in the oven and start roasting it, and then we can come back to the, to the pasta. Okay. So this dish will eventually end up on uh, the Rancher's Club menu for, for your dedication and devotion to coming awesome. in at awesome. least uh, twice a week for the past two or three months. More so than that. I know. It's a, it has to it's be. It's ridiculous. I see you every day. Definitely. It's a good thing. So we're going we're gonna to put this uh, spicy chicken pasta on the menu. Okay. So we got a little bit of, uh, notice you're going for the cayenne pepper. That's one of your faves. Yes. All right. I started with the Syrian, just yeah. because it's just, I respect it because it's so different. Yeah. And then I went with the cayenne pepper, and now I'm going to throw a little bit of black. And this is going to be a spicy dish, spicy chicken. A little bit of black pepper. All right. And While you're doing that, I'm going to get this pan warm for the sauce, and I'll take that chicken over and we'll get it in the oven. Nice. Good thing about this dish also is... It's really quick. There's mm -hmm. not going to be too much time involved in terms of roasting it. So I've got a little hot pan okay. here. I'm going to grab this from you. Put it right into either a sheet pan or a saute pan with a little bit of oil so that it doesn't stick. Okay. Skin side down okay. uh, so that the meat's not touching the hot part of the pan. Okay. We'll go right in the oven. This will probably roast at 350 degrees for oh, 10, 12 minutes. Okay. So, all right. Let me get this guy in. If you don't have canola oil, or I'm sorry, if you don't have uh, olive oil or an expensive oil, which you really shouldn't mm -hmm. when you're putting that stuff in the pan, canola oil works great because it's cheap. Okay. It has a high smoke point, and you're not wasting a bunch of money. It doesn't have a bunch of flavor. Okay. okay. So now we've got a pan getting warm for your sauce. We've got a pot of boiling salted water. So the next thing we're going to need to do is cook the pasta. So if you'll grab that uh, rigatoni pasta that we've okay. got here. This is in-house pasta okay. that we extrude at the Ranchers Club. Just Very dump nice. that guy right in. And once you dump it in, the key is uh, to give it a little stir so that it doesn't uh, stick together. So there it goes. Yeah, you got to be careful. Yeah. All right, so give that a little stir with a spoon, okay. um, and that'll keep it from sticking together. And the good thing about the pasta right now that we have in the restaurant in terms of cook time is because it's, it's an extruded pasta, so it's mm -hmm. slightly dry, but it's not yes. completely dry. So it only yes. takes about five minutes to cook. Oh, really? If you were to buy this shape at the store, it would be about a 10 minute cook time because it's completely dry. Okay. All right, so you got a good stir going. Now that's gonna come back up to a boil. Let's go back over to the pan and start making the sauce for the pasta. Okay. So you've got a little bit of butter. Okay. Go ahead and throw a couple of cubes of butter into the pan. Okay. Um, and I brought sausage. I didn't know if you'd want sausage or not. Mm -hmm. I love sausage. Definitely. We make the sausage in house. It's pork sausage. Yes, I like so it. So if we do add the sausage, you're gonna add it right after the butter. Okay. I'm going to give this guy a stir again while you're working on that. And you can put as little or as much as you want in there. Okay. There's no prescribed amounts. It's okay. just whatever you want. I like it. It's all. Okay. All right. So that starts to cook down. If you want it to cook a little bit quicker, you can break it up a little bit okay. so that it cooks in or flatten it out so it cooks in a little less time. Okay. And then once it cooks like this, the way we do it in the restaurant for this particular pasta that we have on the menu okay. is we let it cook only on one side mm -hmm. so that it gets crispy on one side and then the heat from all of the cooking actually cooks the rest of it. Really? Um, so you get one side that's crispy and then we flip it over right at the last second just to barely yeah, side, just, just, just to barely touch the other side. Nice. So that's cooking real good. It won't take but a couple of minutes. Okay. In terms of judging pasta, I'm going to pull out a piece now so you can taste it. Okay. 
so you can tell where the difference is. I always tell people if they're not if they're not used to cooking pasta and judging it, it's good to just take it out. And notice I'm not using gloves or right. forks or anything. Just use your fingers. Right. You taste it after a couple of minutes. That way, at least you know. Okay, well, I've got a couple more more minutes. Okay. Um, or taste it even like right at the beginning. The the point of it is to get in there and try it, so you know where it is in the cooking process. So right. you know that when you go back and do it again, you're like, okay, well, it's only been in for two minutes. I know it's got at least another two minutes. Right. That's how you learn to cook. You, okay. you know, you read recipes, but right. Recipes, but you, you got to cook it through. Yep, they don't right. always work okay. this. All right, once you give that sausage just a, a quick a turn. Quick, quick turn. Yep. Perfect. Now at this point, we can go back and add a little bit of the greens right at the end. Yes. Okay, that's, that sausage the whole thing? is probably another. Yeah, just I would a little so. bit. Just a little bit. Or, or yeah, let's wait just a minute. I think that sausage is got yeah, just a couple. Yeah, it's not needs a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. Maybe break it up a little bit. It'll go a little bit. Uh, okay. That's. I know you want. I know if you wanted to keep it. Right, sure. Okay. You tell me what you want to do. I want to. I want to break it up. I want okay. to break it up in the beginning. Yeah. What's your pasta? You can do no question. You can do whatever you want to do with it, and it's going to cook quicker that way. Yes. All right. So I'm gonna give this pasta a taste because I didn't taste it. It was, it was good. That, it was good. It was close. I think that's ready. Is it? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and drain it. Okay. That was a quick cook of pasta. Well, that's the advantage of having the pasta extruded in the restaurant. Mm -hmm because it's not completely dry, so it really works to our advantage because we can cook pasta to order, not cook it ahead of time. Right. Because pasta cooked ahead of time, then cooled down and reheated just isn't tasty. Right. So we have a very short cook time, only about five minutes. I think the sausage is closing. It's about... All right. So at this point, that basically is done in terms of heat. So it's really good with greens if you don't want them to get super slimy okay. and nasty to turn off the heat, fold them all in, and then we're going to be ready to plate. Okay. I'm gonna cut your chicken for you. We've got uh, a piece of chicken that we cooked off a little bit ahead of time. Okay. Um, Cause that one's still got at least another five minutes or so. All right, so we're gonna slice this. All right. That's how you do it. Should I add this whole thing? I think so. I like greens. No thanks. And then add your pasta. Yes. Stir it all together. And then we're just gonna put it on the plate. I'll bring over That's the chicken. That's very good. It looks very good. And it's super easy too. It is easy. If you don't, I mean, obviously you're not going to make sausage at home, but you can get any kind of sausage that you like from the store, like breakfast sausage or whatever. Yes. But that's basically it. The only other thing that you might want to consider adding, I guess, sometimes is garlic or something for some okay. flavor. But that's it. Toss nice. that all together, and you can put it on the plate and garnish with that nice Parmesan cheese and this chicken. Mmm. And then you get to eat it. I like it. All right, boss. Okay. I think we're ready. Okay. So fun. There you go. That was a blast. Easy too, huh? Here it we was. go. I need to be it. Right on top. Does it make the grade? Is it? Will it fit the menu? Yes, I think it definitely fits the menu. You need I more like spice? a little bit more spice. I, I, would I, I, I It needs a little bit more right. spice, definitely. More spice. I think it we. And then you get to eat. Yes, Syrian, a little bit. Well, I noticed when you were when you were seasoning the first one, it had much more than I seasoned. So yeah. that's why. I, I like my stuff very spicy though. Very spicy. All right, I've got a fork here. You got to give it a taste and give me the okay. Okay. I'm not gonna throw, throw, the parme out. throw the parmesan yeah, yeah, on there. Yeah. Lots of cheese. In my opinion, lots of cheese. I like it. Okay. Couple of crushed ones. Back with the pepper. Okay, oh, we yeah. gotta we gotta pay attention to this. We gotta put some real spice on this pasta. <laughs> give it a shot. Get a little bit of, a little bit of the sausage. Just a little bit. Let's go. I like that. Thanks, Obi, for joining us. Thank you. Appreciate I appreciate it. it. Come out Thank anytime. All right, guys, that's it. Make sure and join us next week, right here on Play with Your Food.